guys, last but definitely not least is my Young Nails Universal Cure Lamp. I have been meaning to review this lamp for quite a while. I've had it for close to a year now, and um, I pretty much like it. It's, it is one of my favorites. I do have a couple of issues with it, though, so I will get into that. Um, of course, this lamp did come in perfect condition when I got it because it came directly from the Young Nails Company. And I'm not even sure where I put the box, sorry. But um, yeah, it was very well protected during the shipping. And um, actually, if you guys want to look in, I believe it was my Young Nails Black Friday haul. Um, that one is where I got the lamp in so you could see the unboxing part of it. The lamp was in perfect condition. Now, I have had time to use this. This is one of the ones that I pretty much grab every time I need to cure something. Um, it's between this one and one of the Sun UV lamps, which is the Sun 7, which is a rechargeable lamp that has a removable battery pack. Um, so, anyway, this lamp, it is made very, very well. It is very sturdy. And, hold on, let me move these things out of the way. I will show you if you put it on a surface this is made out of glass um, but if you put it on the surface it grabs on I mean I can sh literally shake my table trying to yank this lamp off of it and it is gripping the table surface so that's really good the feet here are very thick if you can see the height it's not just you know a, a small um, tab rubber tab so these are very well built and let me go ahead and put this back um i this is just me okay this does come off the bottom okay and also the magnets are very very strong i mean so strong i'm holding it upside down it is not coming off very very sturdy okay um these are just the stickers it had a white case you know how some of the lamps come with a blue cover to prevent scratches and stuff. Um, this one was white and I did peel it and I just kind of forgot to go back in and get these ones. But um, you can take those off too. And okay, of course, this part, a lot of the cheaper lamps, this is this interior is made of plastic. And the plastic works, it really does, don't get me wrong. But this one just feels um, just sturdier. It just feels, um, more stable and secure and of course it has all the LED diodes these this one does not have as many as you would you know you normally see on some of the uh, newer cheaper lamps being sold now um, but it, it does work the same it just, they are very powerful and so let me just put this back together so you would just line this up the magnets are are here okay here, here, and here. And of course the, um, where is it? The sensor here in these lamps are in this corner and in that corner. That is the automatic sensor when you slip your hand in um, for the machine to turn on. So I'm going to flip this over and plug it in. And this is, an, I know it's stupid, but this is an, a little thing that I love. When you plug it in, you hear a, a noise. That is just telling you that the lamp has power. Um, here, if you turn the machine on, or you press it again, turn the machine off, that is just going to, um, you know, turn it on completely, just if you need it on or off. And this is what the buttons look like. This is the on off switch and half power mode. To turn on the half power mode, you press and hold and it turns red. So now it'll be half power. Um, let's check that. Okay, that is the mount that it lights up on half power mode. Now, that is full power mode. So not sure if you could see the difference. I'll try it again. This is turning on half power. There you go, it dimmed. 
and full power, press and hold, and it brightens again. Okay, turn that off. And also, they have the 30 second button, 60 and 120, which is two minutes. And you press the buttons, and that is what the light will turn on for that amount of time. Now, um, you cannot press it again to turn it off, and you cannot press and hold for this to have a memory. I've it, nothing's happening, it's just it turns on, you see. And so, those are my issues, these are my issues with this lamp. I wish that it had a digital display. That's not a make or break for this lamp. It's not that big of a deal. Um, to me, the bigger deal is the fact that it doesn't have a memory function. And um, so, as some of you know, the memory function is when you start, say, at 30 seconds, okay? The client cures the layer of whatever, you know, whatever kind of gel it is. And then you take, when the 30 seconds are up, they take their hand out and then, sorry, turn that off. They take their hand out, you do another layer, and when you place your hand in there again, that it automatically goes for 30 seconds. And this one just doesn't seem to do that. And I'm not sure why, um, maybe it was an added expense to add that feature. But I kind of like that to be able to not have to think about it and just know, okay, each layer is going to be 30 seconds. So I'm just going to stick it um, 30 seconds, memory function, client in and out, turn it you know, on and off, and me not have to worry about pressing the button each and every time. So um, yeah, that memory function is something that I really do wish that this had. Um, if it did, I think this would be the perfect lamp and it would be the one that I grab all of the time um, however it's not the one that I grab all the time is actually the Sun UV Sun 7 um, if this one had those features I mean those features are so widely available to all the lamps now that I don't understand why they weren't included in this one to tell you the truth um, I think if it did have those along with the company logo being on this lamp itself and being tested by the Young Nails company with their products, I think then, then that they could justify the $150 price tag. Um, I'm not saying that I don't like it, but I'm, I'm not saying that I would actually purchase it. Um, I did get this one on sale. I ordered the Black Friday mystery box last year for $100, and it included all kinds of stuff, and this lamp was in it. This lamp itself is, like I said, valued at 150. So um, that alone is, you know, worth the price of the box that you got. Um, but if I had to actually purchase this lamp at 150 dollars by itself, I would not do that. Um, if it had, like I said, the memory function and a digital display, then yes, I would. Um, so. But I mean, but don't let that deter you from buying this lamp. This is a really good lamp, and if you want to stick to the name brand of a lamp for your clients, for your business, then by all means, by layer of gel that you have to cure, you have to manually push the button. And so, you know, that, to me, that's a little bit of a time waster. So, you know, I think it would be better if it did have the memory function. It would be better for the tech to not have to remember, not have to forget to set the certain time limit. Um, and, you know, I just wish that it had that. But I do love this lamp. Sorry about that. I ran out of memory on my other um, camera. So, like I was saying, if you want to stick with a professional name brand um, lamp, then this is your best bet, honestly. A lot of the other professional brands are very expensive. And so the $150 price tag, if you are wanting to stick to professional products, and including the lamps, this is not a bad price. Um, I definitely don't want to spend $400 on a lamp that you sometimes can get charged by some companies. So this one would be a good buy. Um, just personally, if you don't care about the name of the lamp and just how it functions, then I would go with the Sun UV. 
um, simply because this is about three to four times the price of a Sun UV, um, depending on which model you get. And um, also the lack of the memory function and the digital display, which is what you get almost standard now in most of the Sun UV lamps. Um, that said, like I said, this is very good quality. It has not failed me and it actually is my number two. I prefer this one over all my other Sun uh, UV lamps except for the Sun 7. Um, this one is the one that I will grab um, most of the time. Uh, thank you guys for sitting through this other review. Hopefully pretty soon I can come up with some content for some designs and I'm hoping that I can do that fairly quickly for you guys and get those up soon as well. So thank you guys for tuning in and until next time, happy nailing.